this is Battle Phoenix here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Crater Maze, which is for the TurboGrafx-16, and it was developed by Nihon and published by Hudson Soft. And it has a mix between action, puzzle, and even some strategy. And it was also on the Wii's Virtual Console, but I don't know if you can still access it, but I figured I'd mention it that you were able to get this game on there. Now one thing I do want to talk about the Virtual Console for is that I really wish they carried it all over from the Wii to the Wii U. That would have made things so much better, but no, unfortunately they had to redo everything. Because I found it was pretty awesome that the Wii Virtual Console actually had some Turbo Graphics and Sega Genesis, and I believe they also had some Neo Geo games on there. So anyway, Anyways, I just really wanted to say that, and this game was released in the year 1990. Now one thing that is interesting to note is that this game in Japan is actually not called Crater Maze, it's actually an anime adaptation game. And it just happens to be a Doraemon game, which is like a giant blue cat. In fact, I never actually watched the show Doraemon, but I know a lot about it, mostly because I see it everywhere. So now let's talk about the story if I really have to, because let me tell you, it really isn't anything all that special. So your character is riding a spaceship with your friends, and then all of a sudden some big guy comes out of nowhere and kidnaps your friends on different planets, and then you just have to go rescue them. Nothing more and nothing less. So anyways, that's not very important, so let's move on to the gameplay. So all you get to do is collect a bunch of treasure chests within a maze, kind of like Pac-Man, and of course there are enemies chasing after you. But the way how you defend yourself in this game is that you actually have to dig a hole in the ground and the enemies will just fall in. And of course, if you dig again to where they are, they'll actually like get buried and have a crossbow for them. And what's funny, I didn't even know you can literally kill them by digging them into the hole. Until much later on and it was just by an accident. I was always wondering why I was never getting any bonus points at the end. Well anyways, after you collect all the treasure chests, you have to find a green key and then the door will open and there you go. There you have to go on to the next stage. And you want to know how many levels there are in this game? There is 60 levels. Now that's pretty awesome to know that this game actually has that many levels. And I bet you anything that a game like this ever got released today, they would probably only get like 10 levels and the rest of them you have to buy them or something. And no, I'm not talking about free to play, I'm talking about a game that you would pay for and then it would only have 10 levels in it and then you have to buy the rest of them, which is honestly fucking stupid. So anyways, this was back when you actually had to make a game with a whole bunch of levels, or at least like a lot of levels that were really long. And there are some power-ups that you can get, such as like a gun that shoots bubbles that kind of melts your enemies. It's kind of like an acid bubble gun. And then there's also a yo-yo, an ice gun, and many others. But those ones you only keep for a limited amount of time, but there are also items that are permanent. Like the boots, they make you go faster and you keep them forever. And same thing with the shovels, they actually make your digging range a lot bigger. Now imagine that, you want to dig up one hole, but you end up digging up like a whole bunch of holes. And that's the aspect that does kind of remind me of Bomberman, except for the fact that you can't kill yourself that way. And there are also two boss battles within this game. The first boss is at level 30, and then the last boss is at level 60. And there is stuff within the environment, such as like teleporters, springs, and even some hazardous, such as like water, and guys with spears that come out of caves. So it's a fairly simple game, but I have to say, it's actually very addicting. And it does seem pretty original for the idea. I mean, I know it does take things from like Bomberman and such, but I mean, other than that though, it just has some original concepts, and I really like that. But you wouldn't believe it, there was actually a game very similar to this game that came out before, and it was on the Famicom, and it was called, well, the name of it just sounds really ridiculous, and it's called Booby Kids. Now we all know that they're talking about traps, but still, it just sounds really wrong. So yeah, this game is very similar to that game. Although that game was only in Japan, where this game actually got North American release. So let's move on to other things, like the controls, and I have to say the controls are really good and responsive. There's not a whole lot I can say, just move up and down and just dig holes. It's very simple and I can't complain about anything, and I also can't see why anyone else would complain about it either. Now as for the game's graphics, I find them to be pretty nice. The game has a lot of colors and some nice detail, and I also should say that there's a lot of different settings within this game, and I also really like them a lot. No, yeah, the characters are not really that compelling looking, same thing with the enemies, but I mean, other than that though, everything else is just really nice looking. So as usual, when it comes to graphics, it's not a huge deal. Now as for the game's music, I actually really like the music in this game. I find some of the songs sound really catchy, 
and I just really enjoy the music all around. But probably my favorite song within the game would probably have to be the one that plays in the Japanese setting. So yeah, I can't complain about the music because I actually really enjoy it. Now before we move on to other things, one thing I would like to say is that the game is generally really easy. Sure, the game is long and it will take you some time to actually beat it. I mean, the farthest I ever got was about like 30 something. But it's definitely not a brutal game, even though I have died a couple of times, but I wouldn't say that it's really a hard game at all. And there's nothing wrong with that, I mean, this game is very addictive anyway. At least I found it to be very addictive, I mean, I was playing this for like over an hour or two. I mean, most of the times when I died, it's usually because I made a mistake, like accidentally jumping into the water, or sometimes getting, like, stabbed by the spears. And yes, when you die in this game, you lose all your range with your digging power, and you also lose speed. So it is pretty fair in that regard. So I just want to say that the game is not ridiculously hard and is also pretty easy to pick up and play. Now if you want to buy this game, if you want to get a loose copy of it, it's usually about 20 bucks, but I've never actually seen this game out and about before. But if you want to get a complete version of it, well I've seen two and one of them was $50 and the other one was $150. Yikes. Then again, a lot of games on the TurboGrafx-16 are usually pretty expensive, at least compared to most other systems. But I will have to say that getting a loose copy of this game for $20 isn't too bad. I mean, I was expecting it to be a lot more than that, honestly. But it would be something I would like to get eventually, but I'm just not sure when. But because I've never seen this game out in the wild, I don't know how easy it will be for any of you guys out there, but you never know. So now, if I were to rate this one, I think I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. I found this game to be pretty damn fun, and I was hooked playing this game, so that's saying something. And I also like the graphics, and the music is great too. Now the only flaws that this game really has is the fact that the game does seem to be a little bit on the easy side, even though I don't mind games being easy, but it would have been nice to have some more hard levels. But still, there's a whole lot of levels in the game, so I'm not going to complain about that. But there's really not a whole lot of bad things I can think about within this game. And thankfully in this game there is a password system. Because I can't imagine anyone actually trying to get through all 60 levels within one sitting. Now as much fun as the game is, I really had to take a break from it after a while, but I still found it to be a very enjoyable game. And just like a lot of other TurboGrafx games, this one does not get talked about as much. But if you like games like Bomberman or Pac-Man or even Dig Dug, I'd say it's definitely worth playing, whether you're playing on the actual system or emulator or even on your Wii Virtual Console if you happen to own this game already. Either way, I personally think it's a really good puzzle game. Well, puzzle, action, strategy, whatever the hell you want to call it. But either way, it's very enjoyable. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and commenting.